not much of a worry but constant exposure to the sun can lead to serious skin damage fortunately ayurveda has brought us some natural remedies that will help reverse skin tanning if you are avoiding going outside because of being afraid of getting tan well it's time not to freak out anymore external factors such as exposure to the sun and exposure to chlorine water can cause skin discoloration giving you an uneven skin tone Although cosmetically undesirable, skin tanning is body's healthy mechanism of coping to exposure to UV radiation. However, overexposure can lead to skin disorders such as sunburn, skin tan, hyperpigmentation, skin patches and much more. This is simply because UV radiation depletes the moisture content in the skin leaving it pale and damaged. So how do you detang? You must have tried numerous cosmetic products which ended up offering nothing in return. Have you ever tried Ayurvedic remedies? If not, then stick on to watching this video as this video is going to get pretty interesting as I will be covering up all the remedies mentioned in Ayurveda which will help you detang your skin. And also you will be able to understand the overall perspective of this video. But before we get into it, for those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Dr. Smriti Balsan. Do watch my videos and if this video interests you, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon right next to it so that you get updated with all such interesting videos and content. And with that, let's get into this. Exposure to UV rays can damage your skin and as a protective measure, your skin starts producing melanin uh, which is mainly to protect the uppermost layer of the skin called as epidermis. Now overproduction of melanin leads to skin darkening which thereby leads to skin tanning. Along with tan, sun exposure will lead to other skin disorders such as sunburns, dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Melanin is a pigment which is produced by the cells called as melanocytes and the main function of melanin is to provide unique skin complexion and also to protect against photo damage. And overproduction of melanin will lead to skin tanning. Sun exposure, exposure to chlorine water and according to Ayurveda, if there is imbalance in the doshas. Now in our body, we have three doshas that is Vata, Pitta and Kapha and if there is imbalance in any of these three doshas, it can lead to skin ailments. Pitta dosha plays a very crucial role uh, in having a healthy skin because it is responsible for maintaining the body temperature as well as to have a healthy skin. You have to make sure that your Pitta dosha is balanced. So if there is any imbalance, balance in these three doshas specifically pitta dosha then it can lead to skin ailments sunburn skin pigmentation oxidative stress premature aging and enhanced risk of skin cancer The benefits of sunscreen goes beyond protecting your skin and whether it's summer or winter you have to put a sunscreen on. Now choosing your sunscreen product can be quite overwhelming because of the different products being available in the market but you have to ensure that when you buy a sunscreen it should be having an SPF of 30 or higher in order to ensure proper protection of your skin even on cloudy days and also you have to ensure that it has broad spectrum coverage. Shields from the harmful rays of the sun, prevents blotchiness of the face, prevents suntan, prevents sunburn, lowers the risk of skin cancer, prevents premature aging, enhances the health of the skin. To make it easier, I have divided these remedies into different categories and based on your convenience, you can follow whatever you want. So we have single drug remedies, we have compound formulations, we have therapies which can be opted uh, if you have a suntan and also lifestyle changes which can be followed by you to prevent any sort of skin ailment including a suntan. The first drug which I would love to opt is tamarind. So what you have to do is you have to take one cup of tamarind and to that you have to add around one cup of warm water. Keep it for around 10 to 15 minutes and after soaking it you have to take the pulp and you have to apply it all over the body or wherever you are affected with tan. Let the paste dry and then wash it off with lukewarm water. 
next drug of choice is coconut so you just have to use the coconut milk what you have to do is just scrape the coconut and you just have to uh, grind it with water and once you grind it with water take the paste filter it and the milk can be taken and applied all over your face leave it for drying and then wash it off next up we have multani mitti so you just have to take one teaspoon of the powder add one teaspoon of water or rose water or you can even add milk make it into a fine paste and then once it is made into a fine paste you just have to apply it all over your skin let it dry and then you have to wash it off our next drug of choice is aloe vera so you just have to take the pulp and you have to apply it all over your skin leave it for drying and then wash it off now this will take a lot of time but it is effective next up we have almonds so what you have to do is you have to take almonds soak it in water peel off its skin then grind it and apply the paste all over your face and slowly and gradually with mild pressure you have to scrub your face next we can use saffron so what you have to do is you have to take a pinch of saffron mix it with milk and apply it over the face you can even use hibiscus you have to take hibiscus flowers make it a paste and then apply it over the affected areas last but not the least you can take amla or you can take honey or even turmeric so what you have to do is either you take amla or turmeric make it into the form of a paste and apply it or else you can just use honey and apply it directly so next up is compound formulations now if you do not have the time to prepare something at home then you can just buy these products such as kumkumadi tailam you can buy of any brand um, and you can also buy nalpamaradi tailam so these two oils that is kumkumadi and nalpamaradi tailam are really good for skin brightening next up we have ayurvedic treatments which you can definitely opt so first therapy which you can do is something called as abhyangam that is massage so either you can do a full body massage or you can even do localized massage then we have sarvanga lepa that is we apply a paste all over the body or we apply it over the affected part next we have ssps which is called shastika shali pinda sveda so it is a kiri therapy wherein we take a bolus and we massage uh, the bolus all over the affected area it's a hot therapy so so we dip it in milk and we just do hot fermentation all over the body so this is a very beautiful therapy which is done to brighten the skin and also if you have a sun tan it really works it just rejuvenates your body all over again and uh, it has other benefits as well so these treatments are not only like you know good for skin brightening or for skin tan and all of that it is also used to treat different types of ailments uh, which is basically used to strengthen your nervous system next up we have sarvanga dhara so we pour different medicines all over the body and we have another therapy called as udvartana which is called as powder massage so we take different powders we mix it and then we do dry massage all over the body so this also helps to exfoliate the skin and it also helps to rejuvenate your skin last but not the least what are the lifestyle changes which you have to adopt so you have to avoid spicy sour and salty food fruits such as papaya and mango fizzy drinks stale food vegetables like brinjal peanuts figs roaming without a sunscreen fish and beef and also you have to avoid curd so these lifestyle changes have to be adopted in order to have a healthy skin A mild tan may fade within a week but severe tanning can take longer to clear off. Tanning is unavoidable owing to the harsh environmental changes. Exposure to UVA and UVB rays not only causes tan but it also causes direct DNA damage to the epidermal cells. There is no such thing as safe tan or a healthy tan. You have to follow preventive measures such as apply a sunscreen and follow ayurvedic remedies because this will help produce melanin in a more even way despite the time being spent under the sun. With that we have come to an end with this video. If you guys like my video then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'm going to see you guys very soon in my next video. Until then stay tuned and thanks for watching.